Hello and welcome to our webinar on the essential engineering works which Transink are taking forward through the Lisburn Area Renewals Project. Joining me today is Craig Jones, who is a project manager with Transink, Graham Curry, who is a project manager with contractor Babcock, and Gemma McMurray, who is a route manager in Translink. You will hear from each of the panellists during the webinar. By way of introduction, I want to give some key stats which demonstrate the important role which Translink carries out every day across Northern Ireland. Translink currently has 13,000 services in operation on a daily basis, and to keep this level of service operational, this involves maintaining 1,400 buses and trains, which cover around 44 million miles every year. This network includes over 80 bus and rail stations, as well as 8,000 park and ride spaces, which are operating very successfully across Northern Ireland. Translink also looks after over 300 miles of railway track and over 1,600 civil structures, such as bridges and level crossings. In light of this, ongoing maintenance of the track and associated infrastructure are vital to maintain high safety standards and operational performance. At this stage, I'll pass over to Craig Jones of Translink, who will provide more detail on the specific Lisburn Area Renewals Project, which is currently ongoing. Ah, thank you, John. Uh, the Lisbon Area Renewals Project is a major Translink infrastructure investment spanning from Lambeg Station to Lishu Level Crossing. The project can be broken down into three main elements, upgrades to signalling, switches and crossing units and extension of Platform 3 at Lisbon Station. Upgrading the signalling includes replacing the old wiring around the route rail really, into lock-in and the line side uh, equipment and associated signals. Um, which will help to maintain operational performance. Signaling improvements will help future-proof the railway network. The switches and crossings SNC units aspects of the project improve the track layout, which will make it easier to maintain in the future, leading to less disruption. These improvements will allow the removal of a 40 mile an hour speed restriction west of Lisbon Station, therefore reducing journey times for passengers. The extension of Platform 3 will facilitate easier access to the platform, offering more space and capacity for local passengers. Various elements of the project will ensure high safety standards and operational performance are maintained, in turn helping to increase the reliability of the service and reduce future maintenance. Three main Compound sites are in use throughout the duration of the project for the storage of plant and equipment and the siting of temporary site offices and storage. These compound sites are temporary for use during the project. We have Knockmore Yard, which is used to store storage and delivery of materials and for the access and egress of vehicles onto the track. We have Benson Street Car Park, which is used to facilitate plant access and material handling. And we have Lisbon side as is utilised for essential plant and resource access. Lisbon station is strategically located on Northern Ireland's railway flagship cross-border rail route. Key project facts. The LAR project will see two and a half kilometres of track renewal and the installation of 10 new switches, 10,000 tonnes of new ballast and 3,400 concrete sleepers getting installed whilst we're on this project. Platform 3 at Lisbon Station will be extended by 45 metres to offer more space and capacity for passengers. Upgrading the signalling system will involve installing 18 new signals and 50 construction jobs will also be created throughout the duration of the project. Construction timeline. To help reduce disruption, work has been undertaken in a series of smaller prioritised line closures since November 2022. Networks have been ongoing throughout the duration of the project and a Christmas blockade is required to carry out finishing works and testing and commissioning of the new infrastructure. We will provide further information on the Christmas closure in this presentation. I will now pass you to our Babcock representative, Graham, who will provide more detail on the work taking place as part of the Lisbon Area Renewals Project. Thanks, Craig. So works completed to date. We have three compounds based at Notmore Yard, Benson Street Car Park and Lisbon sidings which are to assist us in the building of the job. These were set up for the beginning of January 2023 and will be in operation through until the spring 
2024 when we demobilize. In addition to the works that were outlined by Craig in the previous slide, we have completed what we refer to as stages one to seven. So this is the line of route platform closures been carried out since November 22. Works are completed during these closures include various construction works on the platforms at Lisbon, the renewal of the track, installation of the new cantilever structures, new ballast rail sleepers and SNC units, as well as line of route works such as troughing. The platform extension works have taken place recently to aid the completion of platform three at the station and has included the demolition of the platform piling work and the construction of the new brick wall. In addition, we've completed cable ducting and the main cables have been installed along the railway line during nighttime shifts. Christmas line closure. While the vast majority of our engineering works have taken place overnight, some circumstances require longer periods of closures. We've been granted an eight day closure of the railway during the Christmas holidays from the 25th of December through until the 2nd of January when trains will be operational again. This is for the completion of the installation works, testing and commissioning of new infrastructure. The railway line will be closed between Belfast Lanyon Place and Porter Down and a bus substitution service will be in operation throughout this period. During this time, there will be significant engineering works ongoing day and night, working through the Lisbon area. So the program, the plant and machinery movements will take place throughout the site during the Christmas rail closure. And this will include from Knockmore, Benson Street, Car Park and Lisbon sidings will all be in use with machinery accessing tracks and handling materials. The majority of the disruptive works over Christmas will be focused in and around the Lisbon station up to Benson Street and will complete the extension of the platform as well as the signaling installation works in that location. The railway track adjacent to Benson Street will be relayed during the night and day between Tuesday 26 and Thursday the 28th of December and there will be an increase in noise levels during this time. So we appreciate that there is disruption to residents and this has been ongoing from November 22. We've looked to ensure that we keep noise and inconvenience to a minimum and we have looked at additional measures. Plant and machinery has been fitted with um, noise emitting specifications, including white noise monitors for all relevant plant and vehicles where possible. We've tried to situate static machines such as the generators in positions far away from residential properties and we have introduced acoustic screening where is possible. Where operations are required at night, a quiet nighttime working ethic is employed and the workforce have been rem reminded to be sensitive to this during the Christmas period. Cutting an operation the noisy tasks were minimized with off-site fabrication where it is practical. We've also looked to work with our traffic managed to ensure that deliveries are during the day and that we do not keep our machines idling when unnecessary. I will now pass back to okay. John. Thank you very much, Graham. And at this stage, uh, we'll bring in Gemma McMurray to discuss the bus substitution information. There will be a part line closure between Monday the 25th of December until Tuesday the 2nd of January 2024. Uh, the line closure is between Belfast Lanyon Place and Porter Down. There will be bus substitution services in place between Belfast Great Victoria Street and Porter Down, and these will operate for main stations and main road bus substitution stops. There will also be a 30 minute shuttle bus between Belfast Lanyon Place and Great Victoria Street. Enterprise services will operate as normal between Portadown and Dublin Connolly and Enterprise bus substitution services will operate between Belfast Lanyon Place and Newry. Return trains from Dublin will connect with bus substitution for Lanyon Place at Newry. And please note that Botanic and City Hospital stations will be closed during this period. Please check before you travel as bus substitution times may differ from usual scheduled real departure times and NI railway tickets will be valid for use on Ulster bus and Metro scheduled services. For all the latest real information, information it's available online. Please check before you travel at www.translink.co.uk or download the Translink NI app. And I'll just pass back to John for the next slide. 
Thank you very much, Gemma. And just to conclude the presentation, I wanted to take the opportunity to outline some of the community engagement that we've been carrying out. We've issued several letters to individual properties in the vicinity of the works, initially about compound establishment, but also before each stage of the project as well. A final letter reminding residents of the Christmas closure was issued on the 12th of December. We've also briefed elected representatives for the area in the Lagan Valley constituency and Lisburn and Castlereagh City Council. We've held three public events in the Bridge Community Centre in Lisburn, and this provided an opportunity for residents to call in and speak directly with the project team. We've established a dedicated web page at www.translink.co.uk forward slash LAR, which is being regularly updated as the project progresses. And we are also making use of digital platforms such as social media and webinars such as this to provide updates on the works. We've set up a dedicated contractor control phone number to deal with any queries or complaints, and this number has been included in all communications to residents. Further to that, as there are line closures and bus substitutions in place at specific times, we have ensured proactive media is taken forward and information is placed in all key train stations and announcements on trains to ensure passengers are well informed. Finally, we've taken the opportunity to support a number of local initiatives in partnership with Tona Primary School, Live Life Wellbeing, Sensibility and Tona Community Association. So to sum up, we're making every effort to communicate the planned works and we remain available to talk to anyone who gets in touch. And we have sought to work with the local community to leave a lasting legacy associated with the works. OK, so thank you to all the panellists for your input during the webinar. Um, we will draw the webinar to a close now, but before we do, I would again highlight that our project team is available to deal with any queries that you may have. And if you contact us through the number on the screen now. Thank you.